After Deadpool 1 came out of nowhere and made everyone lose their f***ing minds, a sequel will rise that's just as good, if not better, making audiences everywhere say, eh, this one's good too. It's like having a surprise party, but this time it's not a surprise, and it came three weeks after a funeral. Deadpool 2 in a world where wait 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 hold the door hit the brakes cut deadpool no it's banksy would you like to buy a painting yes it's fucking deadpool let me guess where you're going with this one in a world where blah blah disney blah blah tj miller blah 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 pretending to give a shit about shatterstar hey that is not what yeah yeah you're right that's pretty much what we're gonna say why the fuck are you even doing deadpool 2 listen to your commenters and tear coco a new asshole already but Coco's a really sweet movie. <gasps> and Deadpool 2 isn't? All right, f nuts. Hit it, Blind Al. Uh, what's happening? Uh oh. From whatever internet company owns them this week comes a YouTube format that's been chugging along for six fing years. Even though everyone knows they peaked at Frozen. Think it's time to let it go, man. Honest Trailers, the Honest Trailer. In a world where comic book movies are actually f***ing great these days, no evil shall escape my sight. Well, most of them. Watch these nerds find one logic gap and pretend like it ruined the whole movie. Well, actually, if Cable changed the future, he wouldn't have to travel back in the first place? Good point. No, you pedantic horse cop. It's a movie about a cyborg cartoon with huge pouches and tiny feet. Stop pretending it's the real world. Revisit all the classic Honest Trailer tropes, like the part where they just say bubes for no reason. Actually, we kind of moved away from that. Smart choice. The part where their slower fans keep requesting trailers for movies that are still in theaters, unlike Deadpool 2 Super Duper Cut, available now on Blu-ray and digital. And the starring section, which actually isn't bad, but my movie did it way better. Like, half of yours are just bad puns. Joe Pepsi. Gary's niece. Beverly Hills Club. Uh, Helen Rearview Mirren. Carlise, they're on. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, you stole our Jesus joke. That I'm talked about in the same sentence as Jesus. Passion of the Christ, then me. Deadpool is the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time, except for Jesus. That I said. On our video. I do not need to be here. I could be playing Fortnite with Drake, Ninja, and Mike Pence right now. Sorry, sorry, my bad, carry on. Starring, nobody you've ever heard of, Dead Horse. That made me all kinds of turgid. I don't know, it seemed a little harsh. I mean, we have been nominated for three Emmys. Wait, what? Three Emmys? Oh, come on. This is a f***ing outrage. We're done here. Wait, don't go. <laughs> eh, he'll be back for Detective Pikachu. I've got more flavor than Fruit Stripe gum. This is the Purple Wireless Volcano Nightclub. You and your ham sandwiches are welcome. I'm yelling words. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. What is a king to a god?